Hello everyone, my name is Zach. I am the Traveling Man and I'm here on board the Celebrity Summit and I'm going to give you a full ship walk around tour of this beautiful ship from top to bottom, side to side. So come on if you're ready. Let's get this adventure started. So we're going to start our tour here on deck 12 in the after the ship and this is the rooftop terrace portion of the ship and there is a big screen TV back here. This is where they have um, sometimes they'll show sports and they'll show movies. They've had a few movies now throughout the course of this cruise. You can see they're having uh, some sort of wild thing on the TV right now. Uh, but this is in the very aft of the ship and you see they have all this seating around uh, where you can come up and take a seat. Uh, there's also some deck chairs back here but this is on deck 12 aft. And now we're going to head toward the forward of the ship and as we do right here off the rooftop terrace you notice there's some seating up here and then right around this seating, still on deck 12, is the basketball court. So for all you who like to play basketball on a cruise ship, there is absolutely basketball court available here on board Celebrity Summit. And that is all that is on deck 12 in the aft of the ship. So now we're gonna head forward down the steps onto deck 11. Now we're on deck 11, heading toward the front of the ship, and we're going to come to this circular uh, glass thing here, and this is actually the midship elevator. So all the midship elevators here on board Celebrity Summit uh, are glass. They're over here on the port side of the ship, and we'll see that as we go throughout the ship. We'll see these elevators pop up time and time again. Here about the middle of the ship on deck 11 is one of the specialty dining opportunities here on board the ship. Cuisine is home to Le Petit Chef and family which is the interactive multimedia dining experience, specialty dining. This is a lovely venue for it. Uh, you can see the cool chairs that they have, the orange and black. So the entrance for that, you can come deck 11 up this stairwell that I just talked about, or you can also come from the other side, the outer deck on deck 11. And we're actually going to exit that way here. And this is actually the mid uh, elevator bank here, the ones that are glass, they're in the middle of the ship. And uh, you can exit to the main deck, that door, or this door. So we'll continue our tour on this way, out this door, as we head toward the front of the ship. So now heading forward, we are midship now on deck 11. You can see this is uh, the jogging track. We're actually walking along the jogging track. The jogging track runs all the way around this upper portion of the pool deck. And right around back here, you see uh, where I actually just walked right here. This is the entirety of the jogging track. So not extremely huge, uh, but there is space here if you like to run or jog in the morning or maybe just walk, uh, there's room here for that. Of course, being midship, we are here by the pools, uh, the pool deck down on deck 10. So this would be a great place to come and sit and enjoy the afternoon. So continuing toward the forward of the ship now on deck 11, the next thing we're gonna come to is right here by the pool uh, and this is actually known as the mast bar and you can see it there it's kind of shuttered now and closed because we are in port but this is where you would come to get drinks this is essentially the pool bar and it's right here on deck 11 so you do have to come up the stairs from the pool
So now getting toward the forward section of deck 11, this is actually the solarium that's inside here and we'll see the solarium when we're down on deck 10. But continuing forward now, you're gonna notice here uh, these stairwells leading up, that's the retreat area. The retreat area is exclusive only to those guests staying in suites, which I'm not. So unfortunately we'll not be able to show you in there, but that's an entire sun deck up there all the way forward. But we're gonna continue on forward. We'll enter these glass doors now on deck 11. And one of the cool thing about celebrity cruises on all their ships, they like to feature art such as this. Uh, and it actually just says art, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but I do like these glass structures. They have these uh, kind of cylinder glass structures all around the ship, and they're very cool. They give these cool panoramic views of the ocean and of the sky, so that's really nice. So now we are at the elevator bank, the forward elevator bank, on deck 11. And right here on deck 11, all the way forward, you're gonna find the Sky Lounge. So the Sky Lounge is the most forward location uh, pretty much on the ship in, in its entirety that's open to the public. Uh, but it's a perfect place for you to come and have, well, well, you see it here, these panoramic views off the front of the ship. So you can see we're here in Dock and Cozumel today. There's also a bar back here where you can get drinks. Plenty of seating in here though. I've not seen this full the entire cruise. There's always seats available. Then over here toward the center of the venue is a dance floor and a place for music. So we're now back at the elevator bank on deck 11 forward and on the other side over here across from the sky lounge is camp at sea and also club x and this is the uh, children's activities at camp at sea and then the teens activities at club x so that's all for deck 11 so now we're going to go down to deck 10 and start deck 10 in the forward of the ship so here on the forward of deck 10 is the spa and the spa of course is where you can come and get your spa treatments it's where uh, you can come to the salon, you get your hair done. There's also the fitness center up here as well. So all this is located on deck 10 forward. Now leaving the spa area and walking toward the aft of the ship, we're headed to the midship. And this is a good opportunity, there's also some restrooms here right outside the spa. This is also a good opportunity for me to show you the doors here on Celebrity Summit because unlike a lot of the modern cruise ships or the automatic doors, all the doors toward the outer decks, or onto the outer decks rather, here on board the ship, are manual. So you do have to open those yourself. So now here, uh, about midship, here on deck 10, this is a solarium area on board. And you see they do have these nice glass ceilings. This is all closed in. So you're completely protected from the elements. You don't have to worry about rain or it being cold outside or anything like that. 
there's the main pool there in the middle here in the solarium. The solarium is also adults only, I think 16 and up, so no kids allowed here. And then right here in the solarium, right behind the pool and everything, this is the Spa Cafe. Of course, the Spa Cafe is featured on most all celebrity cruise ships. I think actually all celebrity cruise ships have a Spa Cafe. But this is a good place to come and get some of your lighter fare, maybe your, uh, you know, more your fit fare, things like that. You can get that here at the Spa Cafe. And they're usually only open a few hours for breakfast in the morning and a couple of hours for lunch in the afternoon. So you won't see this venue open that much throughout the course of your cruise. So now we are midship here on deck 10 and this is where the fun happens because this is the pool deck, the main pool deck here on board the ship. You can see one of the main pools right there. And then there are, I think four or five hot tubs here. Just past the pools is this open area here on deck 10. This is where they have live music. This is where they have dancing and things like that right here on the pool deck. And right behind that, you're gonna get to the pool grill. And again, it's like the pool bar up there. It's closed right now. They don't open until the afternoon. And this is uh, still in the morning when I'm filming this. Uh, but you can hear back there, they're grilling up those hamburgers and hot dogs. So this is the place you come and get your pool treats. And then just behind that, on either side, I know they have this on the other side too, they have twin ping pong tables. So they have this one here and then they have another one on the other side. So if you're into ping pong, uh, it's a cruising staple, I know. Then this is your place here on deck 10, just aft of the main pool. And also here on deck 10, they also have a drink station. Uh, it says not in use right now. I don't know if it's just closed momentarily, but uh, at least at some point in time, this has been used to get drinks and stuff. So uh, come here and check if you're hanging out at the pool, need some water, uh, just need a quick something to drink, maybe come here and get yourself something to drink. And now here midship on deck 10, we're gonna go inside. And we know we're midship because we see this elevator bank. Anytime you see this, uh, special elevator bank here with the glass elevators. This is the only one on the ship and it's midship and it's on the port side. So remember that, that might be a helpful tip if you get lost, but you see this elevator bank, well then you know you're midship on whatever deck. Um, but here just aft of this elevator bank and when we come in just aft of the pool, of course you have the midship stairwell. And this is the stairwell that will lead you up to cuisine. So we were just up there a few minutes ago. But this is Ocean View Cafe. Ocean View Cafe is on deck 10 mid, all the way to the aft, because it is a pretty large venue. And of course, when you walk in, like on a lot of the newer celebrity ships, they have added a hand washing station here, just inside so you can wash your hands. And just here inside the door also is Scoops, and Scoops is where you can come and get ice cream. They have delicious ice cream all hours of the day. And then beautiful seating here just inside of Ocean View Cafe. And the thing I like most about this Ocean View Cafe buffet layout uh, is that all the different stations. You see the bakery over there. We saw the scoops back there. Uh, you see there's seating all around, but these stations are very spread out. So you have a station here, you have a station there in the middle, and then all the way here, all the way back to the very back of Ocean View Cafe, you have more stations. And during lunchtime or breakfast time or dinner time, whenever they have all the food set out, there's just station after station, but everything's spread out. So you don't have a huge meetup point of people, a huge uh, traffic jam of people like you do on some of the more modern ships. They're in the middle when all the stations are together and you're bumping in and running into people. So I really like that and I really wanted to say that here about this Ocean View Cafe location. One of the other cool things about this Ocean View Cafe and like a lot of the Celebrity Summit itself is how heavily renovated it's been. This ship underwent uh, renovation back in 2019 and so a lot of the finishings uh, a lot of the furniture and the carpeting and a lot of the aesthetic itself uh, is very reminiscent 
of the newer celebrity ships. So if you cruise on an Edge class ship uh, and you're in the Ocean View Cafe, this is a lot of the same furniture, a lot of the same carpeting, a lot of the same design is what you see on those newer ships. It's very beautiful. So now here in the aft of the Ocean View location, uh, it's still breakfast time, so they still got some uh, breakfast items set up. But we are gonna head all the way aft here on deck 10. And this is an outdoor area where you can come and enjoy your lunch or dinner, whatever you're eating, you enjoy your food. And then also right here is the Sunset Bar. So Sunset Bar is a staple on all um, celebrity cruises. And this is the one here on board the Summit. And you have great views right off the back of this ship. So I highly recommend this uh, for you to come out and enjoy your food out here because they do have a lot of tables. Uh, it's never completely full. You usually can find a table just about any time of day. And then right here beside the Sunset Bar, there is a stairwell. This goes all the way up to the Sunset Terrace, which is up on deck 12. So this goes up two whole decks. Um, pretty steep stairwell though. So if you have issues with stairs and things like that, maybe don't go up this one, maybe take the other stairwells. But just know you can access the rooftop terrace from here at the Sunset Bar. That concludes our look at Ocean View Cafe. We are now back to the aft elevator bank here on deck 10. And now we're gonna go all the way down to deck five because there are no public deck areas, no public spaces between deck 10 and deck five. So I'll meet you all the way down in the aft on deck five. So I've stopped here in one of the stairwells. Just wanted to show you how beautiful these are. Of course, they've got the updated carpet. Uh, it looks like probably more original wood paneling here, but there's always some art fixture here between each of the floors. So we're right now between deck eight, I'm sorry, deck nine up here and deck eight down here. So just wanted to point out how beautiful the elevator banks and the stairwells are on board the ship. So now we continue our tour here on deck five aft and we are still here at the elevator bank and stairwell. I'm gonna go port side first and on the port side in the aft on deck five is blue and unfortunately it's closed they have it closed up right now but blue is the restaurant that is exclusive to those guests staying in aqua class aqua class and also sweet guests can come here as well but they also have their own venue that we'll see in a minute uh, but blue is a very good restaurant if you've ever been on the fence about booking aqua class do it just for blue i've had it several times and it is very delicious but this is the location of blue here on board celebrity summit on deck five aft port side so now we'll slide on over to starboard. And this is the location of another dining venue. This is Cosmopolitan Restaurant. Cosmopolitan Restaurant is the main dining room here on board the ship. And it just depends on whether you have a sign dining or select choice dining as to which floor you get. Because we'll also see on deck four aft uh, the continuation of the Cosmopolitan Restaurant. So I'm gonna walk on down now to deck four, because as I told you, the continuation of Cosmopolitan Restaurant is here on deck four. This is just a very beautiful dining room. You see you have this very huge panoramic window in the very back, overlooking the very back of the ship, and just so many tables. I think Celebrity has done a tremendous job with the renovations of this ship. So I will say here, if you are in choice dining, which is anytime dining, which means you can come anytime the dining room is open and get any table, um, that's here on deck four. And then up deck five, is the location just 
for those guests that have us on dining. All right, so after a weird jump down to deck four, just to show you the dining room, we're back to the aft elevators on deck five, and we're gonna start now. Again, Cosmopolitan here on our right. We're gonna start moving forward on the ship, and the first venue that we come to here about midship on deck five, this is Cellar Masters. This is a lounge on board, so they serve drinks, of course, right here at the bar. But like a lot of older cruise ships, you don't see it a lot now with modern cruise ships, especially the edge class ships, but the older cruise ships tend to have lounges. And of course, these lounges are just a good place for you to come and sit and actually be served a drink instead of going up to a bar and sitting at a bar. So uh, that's one of the other beauties about these smaller ships is that they do have several lounges. And we're gonna see another one here as we continue our tour and head down to deck four in a few minutes. But this is Cellar Masters, one of the lounges here and it's here on deck five midship. And then right beside Cellar Masters here on deck five mid is Sushi on Five, and Sushi on Five, of course, is the sushi restaurant that they have on board Celebrity Summit. Uh, it's very similar to Raw on Five, which they have on the Celebrity Edge class of ships, but this is a great uh, specialty dining opportunity that you can come to for lunch or for dinner. And it's here on deck five mid. When you're in the middle of the ship here on Celebrity Summit, uh, the elevator bank is going to be all the way over here toward the port side. So you're just going to have a mid stairwell removed from an elevator bank. And we'll look now here in the middle of deck five down onto the atrium, which is like the heart of the ship here on Celebrity Summit. A very beautiful area that we'll explore more of for the remainder of the video. But I did want to walk over here to starboard side of deck five and just show you the entrance of Cellar Masters. We did see all of Cellar Masters, but we were right back there standing uh, just near the bar when we turned to go over to Sushi on Five. So I wanted to make sure you saw um, all of the locations here and knew both of the entrances here to Cellar Masters on Deck Five. So now here on Deck Five, Midship is one of the more popular locations on the ship or any celebrity ship. This is Cafe Albacho, and you can see the uh, cafe itself up there where you can actually go and get your drinks made and then they have a lot of seating here uh, quite a bit of seating actually and they have these windows that you can sit right beside the ocean and then these seats over here you can actually sit and overlook the atrium down below so not a bad seat in the house in Cafe Albacho One of the coolest things about Cafe Albacho is their great selections of pastries and baked goods. Uh, these are all included. You don't have to pay any extra for these, uh, but that's all located here at Cafe Albacho. So that's starboard. Now we're going to head over, make the long trek over to port side. We have all this seating here. This is just a continuation of the seating for Cafe Albacho. They also have a stand here where you can get fresh gelato. And then more seating here in the middle as well. So now making our way toward the front of the ship, forward on deck five. One of the first things we're gonna run into is the future vacations desk, which is right here to my right, this rounded structure. This is where you can go and make future cruise reservations. Uh, usually they run specials and deals where if you book on board, you get onboard credit and things like that. But that's here on deck five mid. Also on deck five mid is the shops on board and they have plenty of shops here on board Celebrity Summit. You can see on both sides of me, on both port and starboard side of the ship, various types of shops. They have, of course, the tax and duty free location. They have a jewelry shop. They have just general celebrity merchandise. So anything you're hoping to buy on a cruise, expecting to find on a cruise, well, you're gonna find it here at the shops on Celebrity Summit. forward now on deck five is the theater this is the main theater on board the ship and unfortunately like blue the door is closed right now so we can't go in there uh, this is deck five is the upper deck the upper seating of the theater so if you want to sit in the balcony you come to deck five however if you want to sit on the floor or have a seat closer to the stage then you want to go down to deck four which we'll see in just a moment and now you can see here as we're over here on the starboard side of the ship, you can see more shops and things like that as we look toward the middle of the ship. 
So that is all for deck five. Now we're gonna head down and continue our tour on deck four in the forward of the ship. So here we are at four forward. And again, as I said, the theater, the seating on the floor is located here on deck four. So if you want a close seat up next to the stage, this is where you would come. Of course, they do have the doors closed. So I'll try to insert some footage of the theater here that I take at a later time. Uh, but just know that if you wanna sit on the floor or near the stage, come to deck four. If you wanna sit in the balcony, that's deck five. So we are on the starboard side of the ship. And the cool thing about deck four, uh, they have plenty of locations all around deck four where you can walk outside and get some fresh air. So here on the forward of deck four, uh, when you come outside, you see this is uh, the indication that you can't go any further, that's crew only, but all the way back, all the way alongside of the ship, you can walk all the way out here. They do have some loungers and chairs out here where you can uh, sit. Maybe you don't have a balcony, maybe you want somewhere quiet to sit. Uh, I would recommend you come to deck four in this promenade so that you can come out here, get some fresh air, and have your own balcony, really. Make your own balcony. Uh, but we are in port today in Cozumel, Mexico, right up next to Royal Caribbean's Adventure of the Seas. So we'll just take a quick look now down at the pier, just to show you what a good vantage point this deck is. Here on deck four, the promenade. And now we will go back inside and continue our tour of the inside. So there's the elevator bank and stairwell where we started. Now we're gonna start our way toward the midship. And the first place we come to is the studio and the studio is the photography center. So this is where you can come and find all the photos that have been taken of you throughout the course of the cruise. You can also book photo packages, uh, photo sessions, things like that right here at the studio. Over here on deck four, about mid forward to midship, over on the port side is the retreat lounge. The retreat lounge is available and exclusive only to those guests staying in suite. So much like the sun deck we saw up at the top of the ship, this portion of the ship is exclusive only to those guests staying in suite. So unfortunately we cannot go in here either, but do know if you are staying in the retreat or in a suite rather, that you can come to the retreat and it's located here on deck four port side, about forward of the ship, right here by the art gallery. And just aft of the retreat and aft of the art gallery, you have another door, another location for you to go outside to that promenade deck. And then just after that, toward the middle of the ship here on deck four is the casino on board Celebrity Summit. So now passing through the casino, we are coming to the atrium again here on deck four. And this is where you're gonna find one of the other popular locations on board. This is Crush Bar, which is just basically an extension of the Martini Bar. The Martini Bar, of course, is one of the most popular locations on any celebrity ship. Uh, and if it were, it's only 11, 15 in the morning, but if this were like six hours later, this place would be pretty packed with folks uh, getting a drink. There'd be folks around here. This bar top here would be frozen. It's one of the cool things about the Martini Bar is the frozen top bar, uh, exclusive to the Millennium class and the Solstice class because they don't have the frozen top on the Edge class ship. So you're getting something very cool, very unique when you visit the Martini Bar on the summit. And then we'll cross the atrium now to port side here on deck four. And there's nothing really over here except our reminder elevator bank that reminds us that we're midship, uh, but more seating. And then I saw them last evening was Elegant Night. They set up a bunch of photo locations right here. So this is just kind of a gathering spot, kind of a place to sit. They do have a, you can see they have a DJ stand right there for a DJ to play music. So this is a place to hang out, enjoy music, and enjoy just the general vibe and atmosphere inside the atrium throughout the course of your cruise. All right, now continuing toward the midship here on deck four. We're going to head into our second and last lounge on board, which is the Rendezvous Lounge. And again, like the Cellar Masters up on Deck 5, it has been extensively renovated. So you can see the very modern aesthetic that they have. Also wanted to mention here, if you're one of the folks that like 
the onboard library, you know, where folks can bring books and leave books, that's right here just inside Rendezvous Lounge. And of course, all the X's, that doesn't mean anything bad. A celebrity uses X as their logo, as their brand logo, so you see they have a lot of X's sitting around everywhere. And in addition to being plenty of seating here in the Rendezvous Lounge, it's also the location of a dance floor and a location uh, to have music. So in the evening, if you were to walk through here, you would hear live music. You would see folks out there dancing or at least attempting to. Um, and then, of course, a bar here as well to get drinks. And then they have servers walking around to all the seating uh, to bring drinks to the guests. But that is the Rendezvous Lounge. Let me walk over here toward starboard side of the ship so you can get a full view and a good idea of this lounge. I do like how here they do have the uh, modern, more modern wood paneling as opposed to the old original wood paneling that you see in the stairwells and near the elevators and things like that. So this is very nice, a very nice look. So here, deck four aft, we've already been in Cosmopolitan Restaurant on deck four, so we're gonna skip that and go to the port side here on deck four aft, where we are gonna find Lumine. And Lumine is the exclusive restaurant open only to those guests staying in a suite. So if you have access to the retreat, the retreat lounge, staying in a suite, you also can dine here for breakfast, lunch, and dinner each day of the cruise here in Lumine. And we'll take a step inside to take a quick peek. And then just outside of Lumine, there's another entrance to the promenade or that outdoor deck here on deck four. But that is all for deck four, so I will meet you down on deck three as we get near the end of our tour here on Celebrity Summit. So we're on deck three aft, and this is the location of yet another specialty dining location. This is Tuscan Grill. Tuscan Grill located here on deck three aft. And you walk down this hallway. So Tuscan Grill is located deck three aft over on port side and over on starboard side here in the after deck three is the meeting place. And the meeting place is where they have conference space available on board the ship. They are having something in here right now, so I'm not gonna go in there, uh, but it's very similar to a lot of the conference space they have on other cruise ships. And that's on deck three aft. So just know if you're on deck three aft, there's no way to get to the middle of the ship without going through the stateroom hall, as it will call it. Um, so that's why I'm walking through these hallway of staterooms now is to get through the middle of the ship on deck three. So this is just one of the conference rooms that's available within the meeting place. And there's another one on the other side of that wall, which is where we saw the entrance to the meeting place. But now when we leave the meeting place and start to head forward through this long hallway with art on at least one side, um, we are now gonna find ourselves on deck three in the middle of the ship there's some bathrooms over here on the right. And now we find ourselves at the mid stairwell right here. So just forward of that, here on the starboard side of the ship, we have the shore excursions desk. Of course, this is where you wanna to come to make your reservations for shore excursions and transfers and things like that. The fine folks that work here can help you out. probably our last most popular place on board the ship we'll find here on deck three mid this is the guest relations desk right here where you come with any questions or concerns right next to that right over here is the concierge desk 
And then also you have the captain's club and concierge class desk, which is right here. So all this is located here in the middle of the ship on deck three. And of course you have this stairwell here that goes up to deck four. So we'll take a look at that. It's very beautiful. Now we'll sneak behind this midship elevator bank over here because this is where you're going to find the Wi-Fi center where you can come and use computers if you need to use computers, if you get on the internet to access the internet, or if you have questions in general about connecting to the ship's Wi-Fi, you can come to this kiosk here and there's usually someone available that can help you. And that will conclude our tour for Deck 3. The only other location to visit is the gangway. So now we'll see the gangway uh, and conclude our tour down there. That's going to do it for our tour around the Celebrity Summit. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you go down below. Give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. A lot more cruise content to come. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next adventure.